Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. So every day there's brand new people joining this space and not only are they new to NFTs, they are new to Discord. Now, unfortunately, there are people out there who are gonna take advantage of this and try to scam them out of their money. So in this video, I wanna discuss the most common scams we see on Discord and show you how you could protect your investments. So the most common way people are gonna to try to scam you is through direct messages. Now, the best way you could fight against this is simply by turning them off. So in order to do that, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna click user settings, we're gonna click privacy and safety, and then you're gonna to wanna to toggle off, allow direct messages from server members. So what this does is all the servers you join in the future, direct messages are automatically gonna be turned off. Now the downside to this is all of the servers you've already joined, direct messages are still gonna be open and you're gonna to have to manually turn them off one by one. So there are two ways you can do this. One, you can go through each one of your servers, right click it, click privacy settings, and then from there you can turn off direct messages. What I personally do since I'm in 100 servers is I wait to get a DM from a scammer. I right click their name, I go to profile, I click mutual servers, and then one by one, I look at which servers I have DMs open for. And then from there, I can just shut them off. Now there are cases where you're gonna to need to have your DMs open. For example, the collab line bot or a verification bot. So for this, I would suggest manually opening up DMs for that server in particular. And then once you're verified, go ahead and close DMs. So the most common DMs you're gonna get are fake mints and fake contests. So the way it works is a scammer is gonna DM you pretending to be that project. The username is usually gonna be announcements, minting is live, or even using the project's name with their logo. Now for somebody who isn't accustomed to Discord and they just joined a brand new server, this scam DM looks official. If we take a look at this direct message I received from a scammer pretending to be hate beast, they're saying that the sale is live, that I need to hurry up, and they're trying to pressure me to go on their fake website where they will then steal my money. If we go to the official hate beast server and we look at their announcements, you will see we will never DM you and the hate beast collection will not be stealth dropped or dropped at all until December. The only homepage you should use is hatebeats.com. Everything else is a scam. You'll also notice if we compare their official URL to the URL you see here in this fake DM, it's not the same. So this is obviously a scam website. Now hatebeats even go a step further and every five minutes they have this bot that automatically posts a message telling you to turn off DMs, showing you how to do it and reminding people that they will never send a direct message. The other thing that I like that they do is they made the welcome channel private. I don't know why most projects have this public. In my opinion, it just makes it easier for scammers to target people who are brand new to the channel and then they could send them a direct message pretending to be a verification bot. Speaking of which, the next scam we're gonna look at is fake verification bots. So as I said, there are situations where you're gonna have to open up DMs and that's gonna be to verify your wallet or to verify your account. Now, if you look here, I received a fake collab land DM and they're pretty much just fishing for people who own this collection, trying to get them to verify ownership by connecting their wallet, but then they're just gonna deplete their funds and their NFTs. So a few ways you can tell if it's the real collab land. One, it's gonna be written bot next to the name with this verified bot check mark. Two, you will have your entire collab land history. If you look at this fake message, it is the first one I ever received. And three, when you click to verify, the URL that it's gonna take you to is api.collab.land. So with all of these DMs, it's always good to report them. That way they can't scam other people. Now the next way people are gonna to try to scam you is by pretending to be a founder, an admin, or a moderator. Now if the project is massive and there's a ton of hype behind it, you might be really excited that a founder is reaching out to you personally. However, like all these projects are trying to tell us, we will never ever DM you. Now for me personally, being a YouTuber, founders and marketers do reach out to me to talk about their projects. So how do I verify that they really are who they claim they are? There are actually a few ways to do this. The first one is I right click their name, I click profile, and I check the servers we have in common. If they're actually a founder or a mod, they should be in the server that they're trying to represent. But most of the time they've already been reported and banned, so they won't actually be in that server. The next trick I use is I go in that server, I find the person who is messaging me, I right click their name, I click message. And if our chat history isn't the same one as the person messaging me, the other person is obviously a scammer. The third way I verify is I use a case converter because there is a trick where you can put a capital I to make it look like a lowercase L. So I always copy their name. I go in here, I paste it. 
and you'll notice here it looks like it's written gorilla with two l's but when i click lowercase it is now two i's followed by one l now another method i have heard of which is actually quite clever is the scammer will look for people who have whitelist or og roles they will get you banned from a server and then they're going to reach out to you pretending to be a mod claiming it was a huge misunderstanding and all you need to do to get back in is verify your wallet but the link they're going to send you is a fake website with the goal of stealing your money so the lesson for all those is turn off your dms and report all these fake dms you get so we can get all these accounts banned another thing you need to avoid especially during mint is clicking links that are in the general chat or any chat only ever click a link that is in the official links channel or in the announcements channel there's a ton of people trying to scam you for example this person who posted in my server trying to get people to go to a fake game disease website the real website was com this one is co finally in the past few weeks we've seen a ton of hacks we saw kaiju creature toads jungle freaks but i just told you to always trust the official links and those discords got hacked and somebody put a fake link in the announcements that's why it's always important not to fomo into something always cross check it with the link on their twitter but if their twitter also got hacked and it's a fake link there i like to keep a sheet with all the official links and dates for each project that way i don't get scammed now for the bear x people thought it was a stealth launch i'm not a fan of stealth launches i feel it opens the door for scammers i prefer when projects are clear about their intentions like this message in hate beast the collection won't drop until december this isn't a trick so we can surprise you we won't put anything out before the release date and that date will be in december in my opinion this is what projects should do no mysteries just clear information to protect your community so some tips in order to protect yourself one turn off dms there's no reason to have them open Two, get a hardware wallet like a trezor or a ledger where you're going to need that physical device in order to send crypto in order to send nfts so unless somebody has your seed phrase they won't be able to steal from you three clean up the websites that your metamask is connected to to do this you're going to open up metamask you're going to click these three dots you're going to click connected sites and from there you're going to be able to see every website that this account is connected to and then you're just going to click this trash can and disconnect four always make a burner wallet as well as a burner email now what i mean by this is a completely separate metamask different from your current metamask where if it gets compromised if it's a malicious site if you sign a malicious contract you won't deplete all the funds from your main wallet now a trick i use so i don't have to put seed phrases in back and forth i just have my burner wallet on a completely different browser that way when i want to mint something that's riskier i just open up that browser and my burner wallet is ready the same thing goes for entering your emails i don't trust three quarters of the projects to keep my email safe especially if it's the email i use for all of my crypto accounts so it's best to create a burner email that you only use for nfts that way if it gets passed around if it gets compromised you don't care you could just create a brand new burner email the final tip is when you're minting something on a real site you're going to see up here it's going to say mint if it was a scam website it would most likely say send ether that's it for today's video i hope it was helpful i hope you learned a lot if you did give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel grow and the more of a channel grows the more i can give away speaking of which i am giving away 0.1 ethereum to my subscribers if you want to qualify you have to subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter retweet my pinned tweet and tag one friend in the comments of my pinned tweet if you want to join my patreon on if you want to join the discord if you want to buy crypto in canada and get free money when you make your first trade links in the description down below if you aren't subscribed to my channel would you kindly hit that subscribe button smash that bell notification thank you for watching the crypto gorilla